A lot of people think you were born in East LA, obviously because of the song and the movie, yeah. but you actually weren't. You no. were born in South Central, right? I was born in South Central, uh, 36 in San Pedro. 36 in San Pedro. Yeah. So, so there was Raza down there back in the day. Very little. <laughs> really? You were the minority there? Yeah, it was all black. Oh. And when I grew up, I, I lived there from the time I was born till uh, I was 10. And then we moved from South Central to Granada Hills. And then in the San Fernando Valley. So like yeah. one day everybody was black and then the next day everybody was white. Wow. That was a That's change. A contrast. Before we get to uh, Granada Hills, uh, the name Cheech mm. uh, came from Chicharron, correct? Chicharron, yeah. Did you just like a lot of Chicharrones or what? <laughs> when I was born, I was a little baby. I was newly born, and my, my uncle, Bono, looked in the crib and says, Ay, parece un Chicharron. It looks like a little Chicharron, a little curled up, you know, like. <laughs> and so right. that, that became my name in the family, Chicharron. It got shortened to Cheech. So the family actually called yeah, you that, Richard. Yeah. Wow. And your real name's Richard. Richard. Dick for short, although not really. <laughs> and and who calls you Richard? Uh, my mother. <laughs> my mother did. That's the only person. That's about the only person. Yeah, huh? that's the only person. Yeah. And your dad didn't even call you Richard. <laughs> uh, he does. Yeah, when he can remember who I am. He's 92 now. <laughs> you know, oh like, wow, man, 92 years 92, old, man. Mm -hmm. So, Cheech, you're a Mexican American, uh -huh. but you you don't really prefer that term, and you mm -hmm. really don't like the word Hispanic. I yeah. hear you relate yeah. more to Chicano. Chicano, when I first heard that term, it really described who I was. But originally, Chicano, the word, was, was a derogatory term by Mexicans to other Mexicans right. living in this country, and the concept being that the Mexicans living in this country were no longer truly Mexicanos because they had left their country. They were something less. They were smaller. They were chicos. Right. But that really described who I was because I wasn't Mexican and I wasn't considered fully American. I'm a Chicano. Yeah, that's what I am. Wow, so this derogatory term then became yeah sort of a, a label for like a generation. Yeah, really. it, was a, it was a badge of, uh, of pride, actually. When the Chicano movement in the uh, in the late 60s picked it up, it was a, uh, yeah, soy Chicano y, y que. Yeah, you know? and speaking of badges, uh, your father was an LAPD, LAPD officer. LAPD, 30 years, man. Look at that, man, which yeah. a lot of people probably don't know, and uh, very ironic, yeah, considering yeah. a lot of your material with that. What, what was it like growing up uh, with father as a cop? Well, it was... Uh, uh, a good and bad. <laughs> yeah, I you know I couldn't get away with anything, but uh, but uh, it was it was pretty good. You know, real strict discipline. Yeah, uh, all my uncles were cops too. Really? Yeah, oh, my, really? my uncle Rudy was the highest ranking Chicano in LAPD. He was uh, he was the first uh, Chicano captain of Hollenbeck, and they named the station after him right now, Rudy De Leon Station. Oh wow! Is, is now so, so we were like in the hierarchy of the of the of the LAPD. So I want to go back now to Granada Hills. Oh, Granada Hills. So talk about that transition. Was it tough for you? Were you yeah. uh, accepted? No, I wasn't accepted at all, man. You know, because they, they they didn't had seen anybody like me. There was there was Mexicans around or Chicanos around, but you know, not in close proximity. Right. You know, and so uh, I uh, I went to a public school for about a year, and then uh, then the first Catholic school opened up, and so they didn't play any of that stuff. They just straight on corporal punishment. Right. Know? Right. And so <laughs> and so when I went to Catholic school, they didn't. I I, I got along fine there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, God don't discriminate. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, you know, you walk in there and they got some guy nailing a cross over the door. Yeah, so, right. okay, I get it. Hey, you're going to behave a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. 